What are the most expensive upgrades that you can add to a swimming pool? What a great question. We've got a huge sum of money and we need to burn through it immediately. What can we spend it on? An in-floor cleaning system kind of starts this list off softly. It's an optional upgrade to have high water pressure jets installed in the floor of your swimming pool that kind of clean it from top to bottom uh, with which to facilitate kind of like a self-cleaning system that more or less removes the majority of the labor time that you're going to spend manually vacuuming your swimming pool. Maybe not eliminating it entirely, but removing the majority of the work. And I don't know, it's probably around the $10,000 mark right now, maybe a little bit more than that. And that's like a pretty expensive upgrade for a swimming pool because swimming pools are already, of course, so expensive. So when you start tacking on optional upgrades, just because I don't feel like vacuuming so much that are $10,000 or more dollars, that's appreciable. Plus, you have to consider you need a lot of, you know, horsepower in the pump, so to speak, um, because that in-floor cleaning system needs a lot of water movement, a lot of high pressure in, term, in order to operate. And so even the operating of the system, um, like in terms of maintenance costs, goes up long term, like every day moving forward that you're running that in-floor cleaner, you're going to be paying a little bit more than you could have been paying had your pool not had that. But it definitely isn't at the top of the list. Um, another one that's probably a little bit more than that would be an automatic safety cover. Um, this might be one of the only ones on the list that I really heavily endorse because I think automatic safety covers are amazing. Um, they are ten to twenty thousand dollars. You know, it's there's just so many different types, orientations, ways to build a pool. So it's hard to say precisely exactly what it would cost, but they're a ton of money. But I think they're worth it because of the ease of use. They allow you to actually secure your swimming pool area. The thermal efficiency increases and the benefits to chemical efficiency are both fantastic. But the safety aspect alone makes the upgrade worth it to me. But, you know, that's just I'm a safety minded person. So that's what I think. Uh, I think that's worth it for any swimming pool installation. You know, in fact, get rid of every waterfall out there and only install a safety cover. I think that's definitely a good allocation of funds, even though when you're building a swimming pool, again, you're just burning through piles of money when you're doing it already. So what else can you add to this pool that's going to cost a ton of money? How about a hot tub? Uh, a lot of people want to have an attached hot tub to a swimming pool. The logic is now I think it's just a design thing. People are so familiar with the design. They're just like, yeah, I want one of those too. It's originally from the idea that we're going to share the equipment here. If we have the hot tub close enough that it can spill over into the swimming pool, now we can make a plumbing arrangement called a shared system where we are, we're going to share the filtration system between the pool and the spa. We don't need pump filter heater for the pool, pump filter heater for the spa. We have one. It does double duty. We, we run an automation system through a series of valves, and we have essentially pool mode and spa mode. When you're in pool mode, which is the default, setting, the spa is going to trickle over and spill over into the pool. So it's not stagnant. It can't sit stagnant for long periods of time. Uh, that wouldn't be good. It has to receive clean, filtered, chemically treated water all the time. And in this shared system, it does. The only trick is that it has to be able to overflow into the pool. That's where the idea came from. But I kind of have always liked the idea of divorcing the swimming pool from the hot tub. Um, for one, when they're permanently attached like that, if you're in a seasonal area, if you close your pool, your hot tub's closed as well. And I don't like that. Maybe I want to use my hot tub all year round. But if you have a shared pool and spa, you really can't do that because the systems are tied together. And if one needs to winterize, the other needs to winterize. And so there's that. There's the limited design aspects with the shared spa. Um, it's just I think that the you know, there's a lot to be said about completely separating them. That's always been my angle on it. But if you're looking to spend a lot of money, I guess that kind of works well for you because a standalone custom built hot tub is going to cost more money than one that you're going to tack on to an existing swimming pool build that you're doing. Um, so let's talk about probably the most expensive, expensive thing that you can add to a swimming pool installation, and that is going to be some kind of edge effect system. And there's a lot of terms, could be a vanishing edge, infinity edge, infinity pool, that kind of thing. There's, there's a lot to be said about how cool these things look. From a design and operational perspective, I don't like these. I don't like these things at all because 
they cost so much money to operate and they cost so much money to build. There is just miles of pipe involved with it and a lot of hydraulic considerations. They're more complicated than people give them credit for. A water in motion pool like that is very complicated with the surge tanks and overflows and it you need to size things properly. It takes way larger plumbing than you think it's going to. More pumps commonly, sometimes multiple standalone filtration systems and the costs of running a pool where you have water spilling over an edge like that are so high because moving water like that is a problem. It's it's going to cost, I, I, I couldn't tell you exactly how much more it's going to cost, but rest assured it's going to cost you one heck of a lot more to have a pool with water that spills over the edge regularly as part of how it functions. Not to mention, it's double to triple the cost to install that pool versus a similar pool without an edge effect. I go well out of my way to try to convince people you don't actually want an edge pool of any kind. But if we're trying to burn money and you're asking the question, what is the most expensive thing I can add to my swimming pool? Start putting edge effects on it because you'll burn through that money super quick. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.